Now we're going to discuss the facets of the greater tuberosity and this can be really helpful when you're trying to identify what which tendon a tear is in or pathology. So we're just going to have the elbow in the normal extended position avoiding any abduction and then like all shoulder scans we start at the long head of biceps. To start looking at these tendons we then come laterally to the biceps because obviously that's where supra and then infra are located. We bring the biceps to the bottom of the heel so I'm now distal to the tendons and if you've seen our other videos you'll see that you can see the sun rising from behind the hill. There we go, so that's the sun rising for behind the hill. Now let's talk about the facets. I find them easier to see if you start proximal. Now you can see the biceps tendon, you can see supraspinatus, and then you will see infraspinatus. But let's talk about the facets because this is how we're gonna identify which tendon we're on. It certainly can help. As we come down, can you see there, it almost like becomes a bit of a peak in the middle. So this is a nice representation. So this is our biceps. So this here is the superior facet. So that will be where supraspinatus is. And this is the middle facet. And this is where infraspinatus is. Now in the middle at the top of the mountain is where you're going to have your supraspinatus and infraspinatus interface. Okay. So you can see there you've got the superior facet, supraspinatus attachment, inferior facet, infraspinatus attachment, and in the middle there is your supraspinatus inter, infraspinatus interface. If I went further down, you would then get onto the inferior facet for teres minor. So just remember, come nice and high. You can see the articular cartilage, so you know, you know you're quite proximal on the tendon. You can see the biceps on the medial side, and then just slowly come down and then you'll start to see a little peak in the middle and then this here is going to be your superior facet for supraspinatus, middle facet for infraspinatus and then in the middle you're going to see your supraspinatus, infraspinatus interface between those two facets. Did you find that video useful? If you did, don't worry, we've got loads more videos for you. You can like our videos, you can make a comment, you can subscribe to our channel to get all of our new videos and you can even join our membership. Good luck scanning.